Hmm. Welcome to this moment, this hour of inquiry together. So happy to have you. I'd open today with this quote. This is from Katie's book, Loving What Is. Reality for me is what is true. The truth is whatever is in front of you, whatever is really happening. Whether you like it or not, it's raining now. It shouldn't be raining. It's just a thought. In reality, there's no such thing as a should or a shouldn't. These are only thoughts that we impose onto reality. The mind is like a carpenter's level. When the bubble is off to one side, it shouldn't be raining. We can know that the mind is caught in its thinking. When the bubble is right in the middle, it's raining. We can know that the surface is level and the mind is accepting reality as it is. Without the should and shouldn't, we can see reality as it is. And this leaves us free to act efficiently, clearly and sanely, asking what's the reality of this can help bring the mind out of its story and back into the real world. So just noticing what you say shouldn't be. Often even your own thoughts. That shouldn't be happening. That person shouldn't be doing that or saying that. Those people shouldn't be doing that. Or groups of people. I shouldn't be doing it. I shouldn't have done that. Very fast, very fast that it comes in. And it's okay that it's doing that, that it's saying it, like no wrong. I shouldn't be thinking that I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't be thinking shouldn't. So even that, it's relaxing. So, you know, first step in the work, like seeing, which isn't so hard. Many of us have been seeing, that's why you're here. Like seeing, yeah, it's like a, it's like wild, a wild storm in my mind, on my thinking and in my body. So uncomfortable. And just allow it, like letting it be there letting it live, letting it have its life, the thoughts that say shouldn't, that shouldn't be the way it is, it shouldn't be the way it is. So I love identifying it. Then I go, oh, I can ask four questions. I can wonder about this. So welcoming it, allowing it, seeing the thoughts, letting them be there so fast, so busy sometimes, so quick, just even a gut feeling, uh, relaxing, relaxing even if it's not so relaxing. And just letting that 
have its life, letting that live, letting that story be there. And let's see what we notice, you know, what we find. It's like, okay, I really want to see reality in the middle, in that middle place, like on that carpenter's level with the bubble in the middle. It only takes a little bit, doesn't it? Just to, you know, oh, the bubble's going way down here. Doesn't take much. Um, we don't have to be afraid that it doesn't take much, but just here comes the thought, believing, believing, kind of sets off feelings in the body. But see what your mind says shouldn't be there. Maybe you've been looking at a person or had an exchange or the state of the world. It gets kind of meta. Something about your own thoughts, aspects of life it shouldn't be there. Just see what they are and let them come on in, let them come on in. It's nice because we have some medicine. <laughs> we, have a, we have something we can do, allowing it, allowing it, knowing we're standing on solid ground. There's something here that's very aware, we're very tuned to stress. We know what it's like to be stressed. It's just thinking the thing out there is the thing that should go away so I'm not stressed. That's the, that's the place where it gets tough. So just notice and okay to share. You can share it in the chat. You can share, you can share things out loud during this time if it feels better. You're not like a writer. Hi. Um, I have he shouldn't have broken up with me. And yeah, I shouldn't be thinking shouldn't. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So even just starting with, you know, I should be thinking shouldn't because it's too late. I already thought it. <laughs> so there it is. What's the reality? I'm thinking shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. And I love that you found that. He shouldn't have broken up with me. I don't like that. I notice my mind doesn't like it either. Somebody's, somebody's uh, leaving. So thank you for sharing that one. Yeah. 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 I think like I am all this greatness and he's never going to find that. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that's okay. That sounds sort of like, you know, there's like this wonderful thing and there's something that's disappointed, you know, want to share it. I want to share it. Um, and to see that thing that tightens about like, and it would be better if he was here. Yeah. So that's awesome. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be going away. You notice that with, um, there's other things besides people, you know, or, well, there's friendships, all kinds of relationships, and they're gone. Or like I get a job, you know, I get laid off from a job. That shouldn't have happened. There's, this shouldn't be. There shouldn't be a parting of ways here. Terrible. Sad. Disappointing. I don't get the picture of the future I wanted <laughs> or I thought was possible. Yeah, such a good one. Okay, share is sharing. I should be able to make decisions with greater ease. I shouldn't have such a hard time making decisions. Uh, that's a good one too. <laughs> yes, should be easy, not hard. This pain shouldn't be here. This pain shouldn't be here. So 
interesting because you know nobody says great bring pain i love pain pain is so wonderful because it's sort of a signal of um you know d discomfort but it's the thoughts about we really shouldn't be here and kind of how that how that rolls it gets so stressful Dina, sometimes i feel contented and think I shouldn't be okay with my life as it is. I should be wanting more. <laughs> I should be taking on more, doing more, trying harder. Great one. <laughs> yeah, I got to do stuff or else there's a danger in this Eve. Linda, my coworker shouldn't be goofing off in the back while I'm working my tush off. Yes. And the related management should be doing something about this. So good. Sarah, I should not be so comfortable at home. Another one about comfort. Yeah, this is, this is too comfortable. This isn't good. Isn't that funny that, you know, the mind can come up with, I don't like somebody shouldn't leave or that shouldn't be going away from me separating from me and then also this shouldn't be this close this shouldn't be here and it is here and it should be gone it should leave sandy people shouldn't be killing each other <sighs> yeah Katarina, they shouldn't have given the job to the other girl yes okay just watching whether it feels like just a little bit of a stress or a really huge stress it's okay to notice the feeling inside almost doesn't matter a little or a lot a lot gets our attention so great that it does that but it's okay if it's just a little that shouldn't it shouldn't have happened so, Anne Marie, my long list these days. <laughs> the government shouldn't do A, B, C. Yeah. Yeah. Love authority, you know, government, the corporation, the organization I work for. Yeah, shouldn't do it. She really shouldn't do that. Okay. So who feels they'd like to bring the specific thought to the table? We'll see what it is. And it, useful, because no matter what it is, you can find your own shouldn't, 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 shouldn't. And we can start with where it was at the very beginning, Katerina, that, sh that person shouldn't break up with me. Yeah. <laughs> That's right there. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Okay. So everybody find, even if it's not a person who, you know, is committed relationship of the kind we say break up, it can be a friend, your mother, your child, your boss, your sister, your brother. In that moment, you notice the little exchanges that you have. You can say, you know, we're, we're disagreeing. They don't like it. This is separating. You can find it right there. It doesn't mean like I'm never speaking to you again. They shouldn't walk away. And in this case, break up. All right. So we'll start, we'll start it off with you, Katarina, and and then people can kind of join in and, and follow, you know, follow along, whoever it is that you're thinking of. And maybe there's a little collection, just noticing the, how common it is that those, those people shouldn't disagree, have a separate opinion, do it differently, walk away. 
Okay, and letting it be there, like letting it come on in. Just let it, let it pour in and live here. Okay, so he shouldn't have broken up with you. Is it true? No. Mm -hmm. Were you finding what's the reality? He did. Yeah, he did. And it's, it's for, you know, it happened yet yeah. for the better, maybe. I don't know. Which is good to notice, you know, mm -hmm. don't, don't know yet, but, but open, like kind of get, you know, it's how much is, it's not so simple. It's just, they should never leave. You know, they should yeah. always be with me every minute or whatever. It's like, Hmm, can't absolutely know it. Really can't know that. <sighs> Which is something. Yeah, to just actually feel it like, wow, okay. The way it's happening, what's the reality? That's what's happening. It's raining. Okay. But what happens when you do think it? I love, we let that have its life. The fear, the sadness, the disappointment, letting it be. What happens when you believe it? When you think that thought, he shouldn't have broken up with me. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because my eight year old just picked up like for two days now. She's like, What's going on with you, mom? And why are you walking like that? And why is your head down? And are you depressed? <laughs> and. <laughs> So that's kind of how I'm living and, um, and then just you know, eating and all of those things. So good to see. Yeah. That was my, one of my go-tos and eat, eat food. <laughs> how do I react? I eat food. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with, it's emotional hunger, nothing to do with physical hunger. Yeah, exactly. Emotional hunger. Yeah, so empty, you know, and just see how you treat this person. And everyone can also see now, like let yourself, you can share it on chat or even after Katerina shares, you can share too, it's totally fine. Mm -hmm. What happens when you think that person shouldn't wake up with me? Um. I'm not sure like I decided to give him space and not talk to him I don't think that's a bad thing but yeah so it can look like that on the outside I noticed that happening too in my reactions that I've experienced and inside how do I treat the person mm. There's lots of thinking about the person I mean you yeah might yeah. that's true so yeah. I'm yeah so I'm ju judging them and um putting them <laughs> putting them lower than me which is what I thought he was doing to me <laughs> <laughs> um talking about them to my friends and stuff in that way yeah 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 okay okay I love shares sharing. I feel sad and hurt and low energy. Abandoned, alone. Anne Marie, he shouldn't have rejected me, my brother. I feel angry. I don't love him anymore. I don't want to see him anymore. I want revenge. <laughs> like noticing that one. Yeah. As you notice, it goes like to revenge, like a tightness, like, ah, and then, oh, incredible sadness. You might feel both or kind of moves around, you know. 
expressing. Yeah, Anne Marie, heartbroken, and Ludo, lonely. See your future. Future looks bad. Past looks bad. You review the past. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that remember that time I said that thing? I shouldn't have done that. Then this wouldn't be happening. <laughs> Sometimes for some of us. Yeah, I did that too, reviewing the past. I actually just did that. Like, okay, what did we say to each other? You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even like watching, you know, attempts to adjust or apologize for something in the past or say, oh, here's what I was actually think like, like fix it so that this could be fixed so that everything could be done and the whole change. And it's just like a lot of, a lot of work. That's exactly what I did too. Yeah. Yeah. Same mind. <laughs> you know, mind coming in for like a, like, um, you know, let me take care of this. You know, a whole team is involved. Some people are going to the past. Some of the teams going into the future. How to manage it. But I'm against it. Against what's happening. Dina, I treat him as if he's the only good thing in my life. I feel like I'm, my life is over. I'm back in the scene 33 years ago. Yeah. That's such a good one. It's like, you know, what's left of something that feels far in the past like that. And just to see, I mark it as a, okay, that the mind does that. Of course it would. I mark it as, if I was telling my life story, you know, I might say, well, and that when this happened, then this happened, then I went through a big breakup and then this happened and you're not filled with the sadness of it, but it's still comes alive. Yeah. Being broken up with. Share rejected, rejected. Ludo, all of a sudden he becomes incredibly important. That's a good one. Yeah. Same. It's <laughs> a good one. Yeah. I was having a normal day and now <laughs> there's an emergency on the scene or something that's very vital, critical. Anne Marie, images of the past with my brother. Each little hurt comes back really good to see. I have evidence. I have evidence. Sandy, I'm trying to understand, analyzing, why am I in this crazy world? Well, that's such a good one. Don't you love how it just blossoms out? Like I have this experience and then it just really fast for some of us it can be very much like, why does this happen? Why is there so much suffering? This is a crazy world. Terrible things happen here. It's awful. Yeah. I think there's something wrong with me when I see the pattern happening over and over. It's my fault. Yeah, it must be me. It must be something I'm doing. Yeah. And Dina, yes. I treat myself as though this is my fault. And Donnie, the whole team is involved, so I am never alone. <laughs> yes, laughing, <laughs> right? I just think of it as like a SWAT team. A SWAT team comes in. We're gonna take the past. We're gonna take the future. We're gonna take how you're thinking right now. <laughs> and everyone's on, you know, <laughs> All in the military. <laughs> uh, defense, you know, defense or attack or whatever needs to happen here. Panic. 
Yeah, Linda, my coworker shouldn't have rejected my values. This is a good one. You see it, you know, come alive there with a coworker. I turn him into an enemy and I keep giving him the evil eye. Man. I had so much, learned so much from a coworker in my last job. Oh my gosh. Like, wow. Like, grabbed onto that and just like, that's what she's like. <laughs> so terrible. So you feel the suffering. It shouldn't be there. I'm just noticing it shouldn't be the way it is. It shouldn't leave. Money. Health. Peace, love, it's gone in the situation, safety, it's gone. Okay, so you see all that? It's like full blown special effects, feelings, images, sounds, oh, internal sound, you know, just everything filling, filling the space, filling everything, your whole experience. Like, shouldn't be happening. Who would you be without? the story. Yeah, just love, just wondering, what if this is a story? What if stress itself shows me my level is off? I'm not really seeing reality clearly. Who am I? without the story, he shouldn't have broken up with me. If I couldn't have the thought, you don't have to be there in your mind, you know. If I couldn't have this thought, there they go. And even just come to right now in this moment, you might be remembering those and you see that in the past. Right now, without the story, I love how Byron Katie says, are you okay? <laughs> should just be like this simple question. No, right now, are you okay? Right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm here. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm so okay. I'm willing to look at my thinking. I'm showing up to say, hmm, I wonder, I wonder about this. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay. So now you've Bring him to mind, you know, just this person you see so clearly in your head. And without the story, there's been a breakup that shouldn't have happened. It's okay to see that it's raining. Mm -hmm. it's raining. Mm -hmm. But we're not like, it should never rain. You're just okay with it because mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. there it is. Yeah, it's easier to accept and see the good um, gifts in the relationship. Uh, cool. So that happens. Mm -hmm. What do you see there? Like, what did you like? Oh, I 
there's some gifts in that relationship. Like what's yeah. one? Um, that I was able to speak up a lot for myself. Yeah. yeah. I love that like, you know, little, oh, appreciation bow. Like, oh, good. Oh yeah, I got that. Mm -hmm. Great. That was fun. <laughs> that was nice. That was helpful. Mm. Yeah, lots of gifts. Mm. It was fun. It was, yeah, it was really good. I think kind of feel that into those gifts you still have them in this moment like didn't go with him mm. they didn't come from him i mean somehow in the, the energy back and forth of relating so beautiful but we're not relating every like even if you're with someone in a committed relationship you're not like walking around with each other all day <laughs> like in every mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it's like coming and going coming and going is happening coming and going like uh, yeah, they don't leave with him it's just seeing oh I like speaking up for myself mm -hmm. that works for me <laughs> mm -hmm. without the thought Anne Marie sharing without the thought I see more clearly I see it's not about me it's an image and a story he has about me. Yeah. He could think what he wants. I'm at peace. Isn't that, isn't that great to, to feel like everybody can think whatever they want. It's just thoughts. Like just thinking is happening, you know. If you looked at thought, it, you can't see anything. There's a basket of everyone's thoughts. There's nothing in the basket. It's just energy. Chum, chum, chum. And I know it feels very powerful because it you know, affects our experience in the moment if we're believing. But yeah, I don't want to be the judge or the, the one that's trying to run someone else's thinking. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Impossible. Even my own. Don't even want to try to control my own thinking. Too much work. And I can question. I can question it. That's what's nice. I'm at peace, said Anne Marie. I'm at peace. Share. I feel more acceptance of myself, less judgy of being wrong. Nice. Surprised to feel some acceptance of them less judgy of their choices. Maybe it was the best choice for them. Maybe it will work out for me too. Nice. <laughs> Could be true. <laughs> Could be just as true. Maybe this will work out for me. I mean, that funny when you have the thought, oh, this is really bad. This is not working out for me. That's the headline. Without the thought, this is working out for me. Even if it's a maybe, it's just, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay right now. Sandy. I become less manipulative too. And uh, <laughs> which I think he's the man manipulating, but <laughs> and more thankful. Yeah. Yeah. And I love noticing, you know, I like, I like feeling that way, you know, it feels more, it feels more genuine, it feels more exciting, more joyful and fun. Like it just feels like something clicks in with, oh yeah, that's, I like being on that ride, which is nice. You know, it's like more genuine, more appreciative, not like I should be great appreciative. It just, it's just what winds up happening. Sandy, it's a gift to seeing clearly, even while sad at what's happening. A gift of seeing clearly. 
even while sad at what's happening, is that I feel compassion and love for everyone. Yeah. You know, I, I sometimes have really noticed like a depth of heartbreak. Like Byron Katie saying, let love kill you. Okay, like just that pouring out of a heartbreak instead of all the tightness and resistance. I mean, I've noticed that. Just crying. Crying to observe the suffering. Nothing wrong with that. Feels kind of good sometimes, right? You just cry. Dina, I noticed that I've been shooting myself. Maybe I'm 95% over this breakup, but there's still that residue. When I look back into the scene from here, I can make space for my heartbreak then and his need to leave. And I can make space for the lasting feelings and thoughts. Beautiful. I can let love be what it is now. Of course, I still have feelings. Yeah. There's that person, they come to mind, even if they're not around or I don't see them, even if they died. Okay, without the thought, it shouldn't break up with me. It shouldn't be gone. Let's turn it around. Okay, I shouldn't break up with myself. Yeah. When that I happens. Should, yeah. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't just like stop living and overanalyze and um, try to fix. Such a powerful one, you know? It's like that scrambling panic that happens with the thought. It's like I'm believing um, who I am is not enough. You know, I gotta grab <laughs> mm -hmm. or whatever. I have to grab. I'm, it's really dangerous. This really is dangerous. This is bad. I'm just relaxing. I shouldn't break up with myself. Oh, right, without thought. I'm just here, aware, present, something conscious that is taking this in, not broken up. I haven't broken up with myself. Oh, and I, I broke up with myself when that happened. I also like noticing, you know, taking it personally. I, I, I thought it was personal. I thought it was about me when the person did that thing. It gave me that look, broke up with me. When the money left, when my health was gone, when the pain came to visit and it wouldn't leave, I thought it was something about me. I shouldn't break up with myself. Just a thought. Um, it was interesting because I keep thinking he's so unintelligent. And here I am taking it all personally. <laughs> and now I'm understanding. I'm getting intelligent. <laughs> so <Yeah>. I'm unintelligent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love seeing it. It's not a smack, you know, I, like that. It's not a, I'm not hitting myself with the turnarounds. Like, beating myself or say, oh God, right. But it's just yes. funny. It's just, and it's what a mind would be like, you know, it's doing what minds do. It's okay. They're not yes. supposed to be any more intelligent <laughs> than they are. He said, he said, I'm not rejecting you personally, da, 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 and I'm still panicking, trying to fix and thinking he's unintelligent, but he actually had more intelligence at that moment. Wow. Don't you love that? He actually said, this is not personal. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Didn't break up with myself. Anyone else want to share uh, examples? Linda does. Okay. I rejected my own values of respect, kindness, compassion, and understanding. Yeah. Those, I you know, just threw those out the, the window and I went for, I went for disrespect, unkind, which is okay. Totally okay. It's what we do if we're afraid. At least that's what I do. I notice my mind doing that if it's afraid. Yeah. Nice to know those values don't go away. They just come back into focus. Oh yeah, right, right. Yeah, there they are. You don't even have to try to work hard on them, on kindness. You actually are kind. And you were noticing when you became unkind, it was really jarring. So it was easy to see. Wow, that's not, you know, the level was off. Right. Okay. So, Anne Marie, I reject myself when I push him completely out of my heart. Ah, oh, yeah. I become harsh. My heart is closed. So it's me I'm pushing out. Yeah, because I'm a lover. I mean, I love, I love. So I'm shutting that down. Okay. I shouldn't break up with him when he breaks up with me. <laughs> I shouldn't break up with him. Well, the weird thing about this situation is I told him I didn't like him at first and then he came back and didn't broke up with me officially. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not fair. You're just trying to make me feel how you felt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't you love it like seeing oh hmm now i'm not even really sure exactly what's going on around here <laughs> like maybe it's me doing the breaking up <laughs> at least that's what i can see yeah well i was being honest about my feelings yeah. and you know maybe he couldn't handle it but maybe he wanted me to feel it maybe he wanted me to Maybe he wanted to get even, but I don't know for sure. Yes. I just love the piece, no wrong. I didn't do it wrong. And just noticing something in me was kind of, you know, creating a divide, mm -hmm. breaking up. Yeah. It's great. It's a great thing to look at. Like, even if that person, even if somebody else, like I looked at this, um, Oh, I had such an amazing experience um, in inquiry for a while with a friend who just did something very surprising and uh, never spoke to me again and had the wrong information, you know, and, um, and I realized as I sat in that inquiry, there was moments when I judged, I totally judged her, even if I didn't say so, you know, I was like, like I remembered this moment that came up when she phoned back when you had, uh, you know, phones in your house, <laughs> not just cell phones, but so she, my, my husband saw the incoming number and that it was her and I'm like, don't answer it. And this is a friend, you know, and she doesn't know that I'm, and I didn't do the work on it yet. I mean, I, so that just built up and I had the work, but I didn't even catch really, you know, like, oh, I don't want to talk to her. Don't answer. Like what's going on there. There is something happening there that I didn't look at. And then da, 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 down the road, cut off. She cut me off, but I could find I'm doing cutting off. I am just as equal of cutting off 
In fact, I wonder who did it first. And it doesn't mean anyone's to blame. It's just watching. I don't know. Okay, so I broke up with him. He didn't break up with me. So just seeing any little parts that where that feels like you could find an example, a genuine example, like not just a maybe guess, but like, so even if he's broken up <laughs> with me, how is it true that he didn't? Yeah, he just shared information. Awesome. Good. Good to see. Yeah, shared information. Yeah. He said we're better off as friends, even though he doesn't want to be friends. But, and um, he shared that he, after all, he doesn't want to move. Um, after all, he gets a feeling that we're not supposed to be together. So he's just over there and like having his life, having his thinking. He's not breaking up <clears throat> with me. He's being guided to do whatever he needs to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And don't we want freedom like somebody shared at the very beginning? Don't I want to not be involved with trying to control other people's thinking or, or behavior? Isn't it more relaxing to trust that everybody's doing whatever they need to do? And we have no idea what's going to happen next. Yeah. And that's what he needs. Yeah, I love Gwen sharing, turning it back to it's me doesn't it help me much. Yeah, I would say really hold that without um, attacking yourself, like just seeing in a way your, your part um, and I love that you're mentioning almost every should and shouldn't I think of is already about me. And just uh, letting that be, it's okay that I have these thoughts. Like I'm a human being with thinking happening. Um, I feel like it's very, there's somewhere along the way where I was like, oh, right. This isn't about attacking myself or like piling on more judgment toward whoever it is I am in the moment it was just maybe my thinking you can turn it around that way i shouldn't break up with my own thinking you know or um and just seeing what i was thinking at the time i took very seriously you know and just watching you say something very wise like almost every should and shouldn't is already about me yeah it's just about my safety and that's even okay that it is because I just get very concerned about my safety and I'm not trusting. Yeah, there's that let go and let God saying, you know, let universe, if you don't use the word God, just reality, life, mystery, God. There, the questioning mind, the questioning today reminds me that I can push people away and that they may see me leaving first. Lovely. That's a nice way to describe it. They might see me. They might feel something at me as leaving first, even if I don't think I was doing that or that wasn't my intention. Yeah, could be. Yeah, without attacking the self, it's really um, that clutch of attack uh, is also a thought. So just re resting and only using turnarounds that actually work. Mm -hmm. 
for you, for awareness and love. Love who you really are, loving, a loving person that gets concerned. That's why this is a, like an issue because you're very loving. <laughs> you care. When, great question. When are we responsible for what we do then? It's not about leaving or breaking up or even relationships. Yeah, it's such a dance of like seeing, oh, I could, I'm just learning. I'm learning and adjusting like a little sailboat sailing across the ocean. And I just see, oh, I see something here. And I can, as I do inquiry, I notice it's just very, short gap between thinking, believing my thoughts are true and resting, like much shorter gap. And it's okay to be caught in thought, not wrong to have that. Sandy, my fear of rejection has made me be guarded and sensitive. I'm feeling that this awareness may save my relationship with a beloved person, yeah. Yeah, I found that to be true. And trusting some go, some come back, some go, some stay, some, yeah, stays alive. It's all right, we don't know. It's a mystery of who's coming and going. I was thinking that it was going to be so hard to trust someone again. Uh -huh. I find that's usually with the story. Mm -hmm. you know, this is a bad, dangerous, difficult, upsetting story. Then I'm going to see that in the future. Yikes, I'm going to protect. And, um, and uh, all right, I'm not wrong to be thinking that way. It's the way the mind would think because it's interested in survival and protection. And we don't know if you won't be able to trust. That's a thought right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And it might come up, but then whew, that solid, loving sense of who you are is much larger than thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trusting. So beautiful. Anyone have any shares? Um, can you share it for Katerina or what you got from this or what you're noticing? I also love the question with inquiry what's the living turnaround? And just holding that. Yeah, we don't. Uh, yes, hello. Hello, Grace. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I was wondering, I think the breaking up, perhaps the moment one of us, I mean, the moment I think that I'm guilty, for example, for a breakup, that's breaking up with myself, because it, it's so fast. It's just the reaction to, to, to take on responsibility for whatever happens. Isn't that a breakup with oneself? Yeah, it sounds it's placing a judgment. Just yeah. Even before I think bad things about him or them. <laughs> yes. It's just, you know, I'm guilty if this happened. So that, that's that's very quick, I think. And that's breaking up with myself, I think. Yeah. Sounds just finding the role of the guilty one in, in, in a situation, in particular in a, you know, in a, in a, in a couple, in a, in a separation or divorce. Et yeah. Whose fault is it? Yeah. <laughs> so that's a breakup. Yeah. Okay. That fits for me. Yeah. Like, what if it really is just the way of it as the doubt? Right. Just the way of it. It's okay that it goes the way it goes. And who knows how it's going to ultimately go? And it's fine. It's all fine. It's okay. It's in the way you think you don't want. Yeah. 
Yeah, the guilt. It's hard. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. Thank you. Oh my yeah, God. maybe it's just the way of it or the dynamic. Like there's no buddy at fault. Yeah. I find if your mind is like mine, it just loves to find. It's like it believes if I find wh whose fault it is, then we can, you know, zone in on that and fix it and get it out of here. And yeah, do something about it, clean it up, <laughs> clean it out. And it just, uh, then that creates a lot of intense laser focus on this spotlighted you know, experience and uh, so much focus on that and just resting, just relaxing, hands off and, and trust, bringing love. I mean, as, as we do, like we don't even have to try. It's just peace. We're totally uh, connected to peace already. It's why we're even aware this is difficult in the first place. Share, I like the idea, that idea. I'm not breaking up with me, especially when feeling rejected from another. Yeah. So it's nice, like, wow, I'm gonna practice not being broken up with. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> not being in danger, you know. I'm in danger, is it true? It should be different than it is. Is it true? Who would I be without the story? Uh, there that thing is uh, going away. Money, person. Life itself, health. Could it be safer than I think? So let's hear that, um, let's hear that quote again for our for close today. I like the fun with the living practice of just um, like Cher just mentioned. Um, I'm not being broken up with, I'm being, I'm being joined. Something's, something's joining with me here. You know, I'm connected connected with life itself and a movement towards wherever it needs to go next. And just excited. I'm on a ride and it's a good ride. It's not a bad ride. <laughs> so reality for me, says Katie, is what is true. The truth is whatever is in front of you, whatever is really happening, whether you like it or not, it's raining now. It shouldn't be raining. It's just a thought. In reality, there's no such thing as a should or a shouldn't. These are only thoughts that we impose onto reality. Isn't that fun to know? It's just a thought. Oh yeah, I'm just thinking, right. <laughs> the mind is like a carpenter's level. When the bubble is off to one side, it shouldn't be raining. We can know that the mind is caught in its thinking. It's caught. And we're not in charge of it even getting caught or not. It could just didn't do it wrong because it got caught. That's what minds do. <laughs> when the bubble is right in the middle, it's raining. We can know that the surface is level and the mind is accepting reality as it is. Without the should and shouldn't, we can see reality as it is. And this leaves us free to act efficiently, clearly, and sanely asking, what's the reality of it? Can help bring the mind out of its story and back 
into the real world. And I love that you know, just like the, the stress allows you to know I'm caught in a story. Good news. It's such a fast uh, entity, you know, whatever stress is, the feeling. Oh, good. Oh, right. I'm caught in stress. Right. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Katerina. Thank you for Thank you so up. much. Oh, my gosh. I appreciate that. Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely work. Thank you for all for being here, listeners and all, and all the comments. Beautiful work. So wonderful. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you next Bye. time. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>